What's going on, people? We good, though, yeah? yeah? Fucked up, man. Pandemic and all of this shit, bro. You know, two years ago, we was laughing at the Chinese for wearing masks. <laughs> and now they're like, ha! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now, cry later. You want batsu? <laughs> so it's mad, but... Um, I love my Asian women as well, but when the pandemic happened, I had to leave them, man. And they have the best hospitality, you know, those Asian girls, I swear to God. Tell you how good they are. I had an Asian girl bent over, doggy style, and she was looking at my toes saying, oh, you need manicure, you need pedicure. <laughs> Indian girls are good too, you know. They've been turning light bulbs since they were little kids. So when they get older, they're just good at shit, innit? <laughs> hard, man, it's hard. I woke up this morning. Can you lower your cameras today? Because I feel I woke up this morning pretty short. And shut the fuck up, blood. You get me? I hate being short at times, especially in raids. Terrible blood, because I never know which girl's taller than me, actually. So I'm walking around the rave looking at all the hills, <laughs> hoping that someone's wearing fucking flats. And it's always the short ones as well. They've got the most mouth in rave. I got to a short girl. I'm like, well, go on, baby, she good. She's like, I don't do men under six four. I'm like, Shut the fuck up and take off your shoe, you catfish. You know? It's horrible blood, I'm telling you. Being short. You have problems. I can't date two women. Two women is horrible, blood, because I feel like two women like me, though, because I feel like they want to bully me. <laughs> blood, I can't argue with my two girl, you know. My ex, she was tall. Every time, she bad me up, you know. She stand up and say, we say pussy face. <laughs> and you know why? It's because uh, my face was actually in her pussy when she stood up and... That's <laughs> it's rude, blood. Trust me, I had a tall woman lift me up and put me against the wall before, you know. Had me like a bitch, blood. I wrapped my legs around her back, I said, I beg you, put me down, please, beg you. The woman threw me on the floor, jumped on top of me, finished herself off, called her friend and said, yeah, I'm coming, I just beat one, thing still. But I pulled the covers over me. I said, can you at least call me an Uber or something? It's horrible, blood. Ah, what else we got to talk about? So I'm Jamaican, right? <laughs> I had to think about that. So I'm Jamaican, yeah? Anyone got Jamaican parents? I got Jamaican parents. And try and have a conversation with a Rasta man and it don't work, yeah? Rasta men are the worst people to have the conversation with because they're so homophobic, yeah? I'm not homophobic. My friend the other day came out and told me he was gay. I said, bruv, I knew from school, blood. He said, how did you know? I said, because you always drag your words. Man said, whatever. I said, T, there you go, that's why. Um, but these Rasta men, trust me, anything, they always try and change your words around. So I went to the herbal shop in Brixton. I said to, yo, Harold, wild one. Everyone goes, wah, well, wah, well, peace, I love, jar, rasta, fire, right, king, celestia, third, second, third, fourth, forever, living, forever, fearful, forever, forever, short, jar. I said, just say hello, innit? This is not that hard. So anyway, I said to Errol, how's things going? He said, yeah, everything's going well. I said, he said, what about you? I said, everything's going fine. Touch wood. What? Touch wood. Touch wood. I'm about him hunting that. I said, Ross, mate, stop putting shit in my mouth. What? You have to put, put shit in a whole mold. I bought him on I said, blood. You're winding me up, what? You know, why not? No, man, I bought him on <laughs> You can't have a conversation with him. I go to the gym, I'm a personal trainer. Personal training is amazing, yeah? Um, and I like it because that's the only time I can be a pervert without being fined or getting in trouble for it. Do you know what I mean? Even my client, Julie, in the wheelchair. Oh, sexy little client she is. 
She comes up in her wheelchair, high skirt on, says, hey, Chris, spins around, does a little 380. I'm looking at her like, don't play with me, Julie. I'll roll you into them disabled toilets, like, <laughs> lift you up and put you on the railing, put some life into your legs, Julie. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is a good show. Uh, big up you, got jokes. My name is Christopher Savage. Dunno, follow me on Instagram, Christopher Savage underscore. Big up.